Hello, my name is Owen from Square Balloon, and today I'm going to give you a quick tutorial on how to um, save logos from websites on the internet. So, a few reasons you might want to do this. Um, perhaps you're working with a web designer like myself, and you want to um, give your web designer all of the clients you've worked with their logos. Most important thing, obviously, would be that the logos are like relevant, up to date, not old logos or something like that. That wouldn't look very good if your clients ever spot them. Um, and the other thing is that they come in high quality. Um, the best thing to do would be to ask your clients to supply these logos to you because they will ultimately give you a better quality than we will probably find with what we're doing now. But if that isn't possible, here's a way to do that. Um, <coughs> first things first, um, uh, if you right click into a folder and press new and then create a folder uh, and then you'll save them. So you can see that here I've actually um, already created one called client logos and if we save them all here it'll be really easy to find them and they'll all be in one location and it'll be very easy to compress them at the end and I'm going to teach you how to compress them because um, it's easier just to compress them into one file and send that file to your web designer and they won't lose any quality like that but what you shouldn't do is you shouldn't send them via WhatsApp or something because they will lose quality or another classic that clients like to do is put them all into a Word document and send that through to me uh, that compresses them as well so that isn't um, going to be good enough we need to get the good quality ones so best quality we can start off will come with a better outlook it won't be pixelated and stuff so here's how you do it if you're on a website and you just right click uh, hover over the logo obviously uh, and if you right click and you should see this option save image as so I'll click that and it'll come up with a dialog box to show me where to save it now the easiest thing to do is if you keep your folder open from before uh, in fact, if I close this, what I'll do is I'll go to my folder. If I click here at the end, uh, what you see is it brings up the URL. And if I press Control and C, I can copy it, or I can right-click and copy it. Either way is fine. And then when I right-click here and go to Save Image As, what I can do is I can click in here, delete what's there, and then I can either Control and V or I can right click and paste. Either one's fine and then when I press enter it will take me to the correct folder that we've just created and now all I need to do is press save. So now that I've done that we'll see that it's arrived here. Um, I'm sure you'll do more than one but uh, imagine now you've gone away and you've created 10 logos or whatever. Uh, what I normally do is press Control and A which is select all or you could just click and drag all of them but I find that more difficult, so I would normally press Control and A. <coughs> now they're all selected, <coughs> I would hover over, make sure I'm on this blue bit so uh, I'm on one of the selected ones, and I right click. When my menu comes up, I've got this option to send to, and then I go over and I click Compressed Folder. Now I've got this folder. Mine says .zip at the end, so I can see that it is a compressed folder. Yours may not say that because you may not have file extensions turned on, it doesn't matter. Uh, what does matter is if the type up here says compressed or zipped folder. If I, if I double click here, you see that it's got compressed or zipped folder. And you should see this little yellow icon as well, which is another way to tell. Now all I need to do is click that, drag it into an email and send that to my web developer and I will have all of the logos in a compressed folder and he will just be able to get the compressed folder and have them at the quality that he needs. Like I say, the best thing to do is to get them from your client so you get the original ones. They would be much better quality, but it isn't always the uh, easiest thing to do. Sometimes clients may be responsive, sometimes they might not. So this is your next best alternative. Remember, don't put them in a Word document and don't put them in WhatsApp. Email him the compressed document instead. Thanks for watching.